Well, it's time for Everyday Iber Reads with Bart Carruthers from Next Page Books and Almost Frank. Almost Frank Oh, today. you were gonna bring him? <laughs> Very close. <laughs> Almost. Wow, next time. This month's book was Table for Two by Amor... Can you say Amor it? Tolls. <laughs> Amor Tolls. May's book was actually some of his shorter fiction, Six Stories Based in New York City, and a novella set in the golden age of Hollywood. And please don't be mad at me. I haven't finished yet, yet but I love it. Don't be mad at me. I haven't finished. Now, you're the one who recommended this book. I love it. I know. <laughs> you guys kind of collaborated on this and book. I yeah. do, and I can't wait to keep reading it. I've been reading it all morning. Actually, mm -hmm. they have they yeah. had iPads, and I had my Kindle, <laughs> too, to read it. So, I, yeah, I've been it reading is, it. It is very okay. good. I love it. Yes. Yes. So, we want to hear from you, because you mentioned you don't always read short stories, but you really like this one. So we want to kind of get your take or on it. Or did he really like this one? We or did know. you really like it? I'm sorry. Did you really like this one? You know, I really love this book. And typically I don't read short story collections because mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> a lot of times I will finish a short story and I'm sort of left feel like I'm left yep. hanging. Mm -hmm. yep. I want to know more. Want I want more. to see the story continue. Mm -hmm. He did a masterful job yep. of really writing six short novels. I mean, everything was contained within 30 or 40 pages that I needed. And after finishing each one, I was satisfied with what I read. Mm -hmm. And each of them were just wonderful stories. I'd agree. Yeah, I, except for the first story, I would say I wasn't satisfied. <laughs> but I'm sure uh, yeah, that I agree with that one. The first one I wasn't either. It, but that rest, was a tough one. Yes, that was a tough one. I agree. I mean, I, yes. And mm -hmm. I like that you start one out and you're like, okay. Well, I kind of miss the other characters, mm. but I'm getting into this, and then yeah. Yeah, he does wrap it up very mm. nicely. And I, I was sort of surprised by that choice, unless it happened just because historically it happened so much sooner than the other five, mm -hmm. that he teed them up in that way. But at the same time, I was thinking, wouldn't you normally want to start off with a bang? Yeah. Like with one of your better yes. stories? Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So I was a little apprehensive at first. It still was a good story, but... So, yes, I like I it. I agree, yes. It, and it kind of set the tone for normal things turning out not so normal, like waiting in a line, meeting people oh, right. at the airport. Just a normal, mm. mundane thing happening, yeah. and then all of a sudden, you know, something a little chaotic. Yeah, something happens. Yes. Well, but the way he describes all of those mundane happenings makes yeah. it almost seem exciting. Mm -hmm. Like, it, I, I, I was know. sort of on the edge of my seat, like, Okay, where is this leading? Yep, what's next? Because something's going to happen. Or it was just the writing, which I thought, not a wasted word or sentence. It was beautiful. Yes. I agree with that. I, that's, I really like writing like that. Very clean, nothing. I don't want to skip over anything because I want to read everything mm -hmm. he has to say because I know it's important. Mm -hmm. There were a couple of sentences in the book that I actually tagged because I found them so interesting oh, and yeah. I didn't want to forget them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and several sentences I would go back and reread several times just because I enjoyed mm -hmm. it so much. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't usually do something that's, like <laughs> right. that. Well, that's high praise then. That is high yeah. praise, I know. Because you read, obviously, a lot. So uh, that I is. Tend yeah, to, yeah, you tend to. <laughs> I really like the novella, though, in L.A. This whole, like, golden era of Hollywood, and it's taking place during the filling of Gone with the Wind. And mm -hmm. didn't Olivia de Havilland just pass away recently? Like, within the past maybe 10 years? So just reading I about... I think so. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. I just found that all... And March 15th, the significance, you know, the Ides of March, just mm -hmm. how that date kept popping up. I just... I'm looking yeah. forward to reading that one. Yeah, oh, okay. <laughs> I, okay. Not, not but I did anyone. love Rules yeah. of Civility, yes. which that it's the It's same. an extension yes, of that yes. book. It's an extension of that. So I'm excited. Yeah. And, and I know a lot of people loved Gentlemen in Moscow. Yes. Mm -hmm. But a lot of my Even customers Obama. come in and they say Rules of Civility is their favorite book of his. Yeah. Really? Um, yeah. I, I think I like that one a lot. And it, there's... He writes a lot of male heavy characters, like yeah. stories, Gentlemen of Moscow, Lincoln mm -hmm. Highway. So I like Rules of Civility because of the female character, I think, too. Okay. Well, <laughs> I don't know. I like to oh. imagine myself oh. in the novel a little bit as the yeah. character. Yeah. So I think that's why I loved Rules of Civility. Mm -hmm. But yeah. We yeah. do have some viewer responses. Oh, yes, let's get to those. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see here. We have... Oh. I would be oh, hard sorry. pressed to select my favorite story in Table for Two. They were all brilliant, says Anne. And let's see here, our response didn't save. Oh, um, Evelyn in Cedar Rapids says, I'm usually not a fan of short story collections, but Amor Tolls? Yep. Amor Tolls. 
things. I loved every word, which is kind of yeah. kind of what you said as well. So those are some great and praises. My father texted me. Oh, her father, okay. Said, oh. Oh, we have one more. Maureen in Cedar Rapids. How is it possible that anyone can possess such talent? I love everything Amor Tolls has written, including the collection of stories. And my dad says, mm. I'm a fan of Tolls. This one is full of charming characters and mesmerizing happenstances. Oh, my gosh. Oh. He should write blurbs <laughs> yes, for a living. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, okay. Yes. All right. Do we, All right. Do we have a little bit of time? My favorite story was the ballad of Timothy really? Touchet. Oh, I that like was that. a good one, too. Yeah. I agree. I like that one a lot. the Goldfinch a little bit. Did you read yeah. that one? The no, Goldfinch? No, it, it kind of reminded me of that. Mm -hmm. That was okay. popular. All right. All right. This month's book. Ooh. The drum roll, please. D drum roll. <laughs> drum roll. And I have a copy for each of you. <gasps> David Nichols, you are here. Okay. And there you go. very quickly, it's the story of two, um, a man and a woman who have sort of lost their way. Their marriages have dissolved. And they come together on a cross-country hike across mm -hmm. England. Um, Lovely. Okay. And well yeah, I don't want to give away too any, much. Too much. Okay, too so much. You can go get this book. Yes. Next at, page books in Nubo. Yep, and they can find you at 1105 Third Street Southeast. Okay, okay. and go Can't get your wait. copy of the book for the coming up month, and, we'll, and then let us know what you think of it. Can't wait. I'm gonna finish this one. I'm gonna finish this one first, and then I'm gonna no, read the yeah. full one. So Do thank that. you. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Barb. Thanks for having me. Uh,